Hi there, this is Ed Herzog, and welcome to 20 Reasons to Buy Elementor Pro. Now, I'm going to divide this into two separate videos. So, in this first video, I'm going to give you reasons 1 through 10 to buy Elementor Pro. And in the second video, I'm going to give you reasons 11 through 20, plus I'm going to give you two bonus reasons to buy Elementor Pro. Now, if you do decide to buy Elementor Pro based on this video or any of my other videos, I do appreciate if you buy via my affiliate link, which I'll put in the description of the video. When you buy via my affiliate, link, I do receive a small commission that does enable me to continue to create free content such as this video and the tutorials that I've been releasing on Elementor on a regular basis. So let's jump in. First reason to buy Elementor Pro is the pop-up builder. Now I do have a complete separate video in which I go, go into depth on this where I give you demos, exactly how to set up everything. Here I'm just going to give you a very brief overview. So first of all, I find the name pop-up builder to be a bit of a misnomer because normally with a pop-up, you think of like that thing that comes right under the center of your screen. And you can create that with a pop-up builder, but you've got a lot of other options as well. So let's take a look at those real quick. So first of all, you've got a bottom bar. So this is a bar that comes in from the bottom of the screen. Secondly, you've got the classic. Again, this is the classic in the center of the screen pop-up right there. So you've got that option. You can also create a fly-in, which is a more of a side Thing here. It comes in from the side. It's not a full screen, not a full column, just a small widget sort of thing that comes in on the side. Here you do have full screen. So this is more like a welcome mat. So it takes over the full screen, really captures the attention of your visitors. You can do a hello bar. So here is, this is similar to a bottom bar, but it comes in from the top. And you can also do a slide in. So this is a full, this takes over the full column. It slides in from either the right or the left. You can also do something like this, oops, sorry to pop that up, sorry, <laughs> where you create a button and you click on that and, oops, and you get the pop-up. There you go. So you've got a lot of different options. And the other great thing about this is you get all the Elementor widgets you can pour into this, all the different features, design features of Elementor, so you can really be creative and create forms, pop-ups, uh, however you want them to look. It doesn't even have to be, you know, it could be an opt-in, it could be something to share your content, something to follow you on social media, whatever you want it to be. You've got all the, all the Elementor widgets, all the Elementor features to create pop-ups, slide-ins, bottom bars, hello bars, welcome mats, etc. whatever you want to do. So that's the first reason to buy Elementor Pro. Second reason is you get access to Pro templates and Pro blocks. So as you know, one way to design with Elementor is to start with a template. Now, that's particularly helpful for those of us who aren't very creative. I know that's me. I, you know, it does help me to look at other websites, to look at some of these templates. And you know, then I'll often make a lot of changes and I'll make it my own. But you know, I often need something to start with. And so if you've only got the free version, you do have some templates, oops, but you don't have the full range of them. You know, as you see here, a lot of these are marked pro. The ones that are marked pro, you obviously need a pro subscription to have access to. And the same thing with the blocks. The blocks, of course, are smaller elements. They're not a full page. Um, but again, as you scroll down here, you can see that a lot of these blocks are labeled pro. So again, you need to have a pro to have access to this. So, you know, more templates, more blocks, more ideas for how to design your web pages. And the really cool thing is that Elementor has now cr started creating full websites for particular niche businesses. They're releasing these once a month. So far, they've done a law firm, law firm, portfolio, fitness, and digital agency. So again, if we come over here to pages, and I'm just going to type in law. And here you see, so you've got four, eight, 11 pages. And you can see, again, it's all designed, same color seams, same kind of look and feel. And so, of course, you can tweak it to make it look the way you want it to. But again, instead of starting an entire web page from, web page from scratch, or website from scratch, you can use these fully designed websites that you only get in the pro version and start from there. It's a really nice thing they've started to, to do. I know they've got some professional designers working on these. They're going to be doing one a month. So um, this is a really nice pro feature they recently came out with. So that's the second reason to buy Elementor Pro is you get the pro templates and the pro blocks. Third reason is the theme builder. Now, this one is really important. As you may know, WordPress used to be very kind of restrictive, particularly when it came to the header, footer, archive pages, and blog post pages. You're really tied to your theme. There wasn't 
really a lot you could do in terms of design. Your pages, you know, you could do, you know, before Elementor, you know, with the, with the other page builders, you know, you could definitely design your pages. And then Elementor came along, you could do it with Elementor. But you couldn't design your header, you couldn't design your footer, you couldn't design your uh, archive pages or blog posts. Well, Theme Builder, you can. You have everything that you can use to create your pages, you can use to create those things as well. You've got full design control over your website. Um, sometimes I don't even remember what theme I'm using anymore. I don't even know, I don't even think my theme does anything on my website anymore. And that's one of the really awesome things is, you know, before you had to kind of look through themes and try to find one where you like the headers, you like the footers, you like the blog post page layouts. Now you don't have to do that because you have full control over that. You can just pick a very, very light theme. It'll speed up your website and design everything the way you want to. So, I mean, this is an, the theme builder is a really, really awesome feature. It's, uh, you know, it gives you again, full control over how your website looks. It was not something that, you know, that we had before, before Elementor Pro came along. So that's a third reason to buy Elementor Pro. Fourth reason, this kind of ties in with the theme builder as well as the pop-up builder, are display conditions. So here, take a look, oops, no, sorry. Come back over here. So we're going to look here. This is my main header. Wait for this to load up here for a second. This is always fun when I'm doing a video and things don't load up as, I, as quick as I want them to. Um, so here's my, here's my header, okay? And if I come over here, I go to display conditions. And as you see, you can put include and exclude conditions. So I've got three includes, one, two, and then this third one at the bottom, and three excludes. So you can design, for example, different headers and then have them display on different types of pages. You can do the same with your footer. You can do, you, know, you can have different blog post page layouts, have them in certain categories and not in other categories. Um, again, this gives you more control over how your website looks. You're not limited to one footer, one header, one blog post layout. You can do however you want. And then the same thing with a pop-up builder. Again, you've got these display conditions, display what you want, where you want. It's a very powerful feature. So that's number four, reason number four to buy Elementor Pro. Reason number five is simply you get more widgets. Uh, and who doesn't like that? Um, so again, you get the basic ones if you have the, the regular, the free version. But here, starting with where we see Pro, You've got four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, about 23 extra widgets. And then you've got some more specialized widgets go into building blog posts and WooCommerce and things like that. But at least in terms of the more general design, you've got about 23 extra widgets to work with here. Block quote, share buttons, countdown, testimonial carousel, call to action, price table, animated headline, navigation menu, form, etc. cetera. So it, again, it gives you more ways to design your website or your client's websites the way you want to. So that was reason number five. You just got more widgets to work with. Reason six, I'm going to take a look at one of those particular widgets, which is the form widget. That's the sixth reason to buy Elementor Pro. So as you can see, here's my contact page and I've got the form widget right here. Um, I don't need to use a separate plugin. If I didn't have Elementor Pro and I wanted to have a form on my, on my website, I would need a separate plugin. But because I have Elementor Pro, I don't need that. I can create this contact form right within Elementor Pro. And it has everything you should, you know, you would want in a in a form builder. So, you know, here I've got just name, email, message, but I can add other form uh, other form items. Um, you know, I've got the submit button that I can style the way I want it to. I've got all these actions after submit so I can send emails, do a redirect to another page, connect a webhook, then I can send it directly to different uh, autoresponders such as MailChimp, Drip, ActiveCampaign, GetResponse, etc. I can send it to Slack, Discord, I can trigger a pop-up. Uh, here I can design the emails I'm going to send out. And this gives me some additional options. Those are a bit more advanced, but these are like error messages, success messages. So again, it's a fully designed uh, form builder as a widget within Elementor Pro. Okay, so that's reason number six to buy Elementor Pro. Reason number seven is again, I'm going to show you one of the specialized widgets. This is a template widget. So let me just pull this up really quick. 
drop this in here and show you what it does. So I've got all these kind of templates that I've built up of my own. And if I start typing this in here, I don't even know the name of one. Uh, I thought, thought I saw under construction. Yeah, so that's my under construction template. Again, I can bring that in via this widget. Um, again, it's a very powerful feature. It's uh, very unique and you know, you can use these templates you've created and then just bring them into page via your widget. So that is reason number seven to buy Elementor Pro. You get access to, to, to this template widget. Reason number eight is something called embed anywhere. So this is particularly useful if you have sidebars. Now I personally don't have a sidebar on my website, but if you're familiar with sidebars, what often happens is you've got these widgets often, some of them come from WordPress, others come from your theme, but you can't actually use the, um, use the Elementor designing and styling within your widgets. Well, with Embed Anywhere, you can. So you create, again, a template somewhere else, you know, using the template builder. Then here you've got a widget called Elementor Library. And you bring, you know, you can bring this over, you can put it, uh, again, this is gonna depend a little bit on your theme, but here I've got default sidebar, I've got footers, you know, so I could slide it to any of these. And I can choose my template. So you see, I've got all these different templates. And you know, since this is sidebar, whatever I design and, and then pick over here is going to show up in my default sidebar. As a part of that, as a part of this embed anywhere, let's see if I can find where, where I wanna show this at. Um, hmm. Okay, I apologize. I thought I had this ready to show and I do not. Uh, give me one second here. Basically, the things that you design in, in the theme builder and Elementor all have short codes. So again, with this embed anywhere, you can use a short code and embed these, you know, whatever you created anywhere you want within Elementor, within your pages, within your posts. So again, right here, I've got all these short codes for the things I've designed. And then I can just use that short code and put it, put things wherever I want on the website. So that's reason number eight, the embed anywhere function. Reason number nine is WooCommerce integration. Now, I don't personally use WooCommerce, so I can't uh, demonstrate this to you directly, but we'll take a look here together at what Elementor has done for WooCommerce. They have some very specific widgets, so you can build your WooCommerce pages the way you want. So as I scroll down here, where... Okay, so you've got things like menu cart, breadcrumbs, product title, price, product rating, short description, product stock, add to cart, metadata, uh, tabs for description, additional inf information, reviews, product images, upsells, and related products. So those are all widgets that are within Elementor Pro that you can use to design your WooCommerce pages the way that you want to. And again, that is strictly an Elementor Pro feature. So that is reason, oops, <laughs> reason number nine to buy Elementor Pro or the WooCommerce widgets, the integration with WooCommerce. Reason number 10 to buy Elementor Pro are global widgets. So let me show you those in action. Again, we're gonna have to wait here a second as this page loads up. So right here, this here, for example, is a global widget. See if I click on that, it says your widget is now locked. So I can either edit the global widget or unlink it from global. What happens if I edit I'm not going to be editing this widget. What it means is anywhere I place that global widget, whatever changes I make here will get updated throughout my website. So instead of knowing, you know, oh, I've got this, this particular widget in seven different places in my website, and every time I update, I've got to go to seven different places, remember where those places are, and edit each of them individually. No, you save it as a global widget, you find it in one of those locations, you edit it, and it updates everywhere. It's an incredibly uh, unique and powerful feature. I mean, it's, it makes website building go a lot quicker. Again, you can see here, you know, here you've got your regular uh, widgets, but you've also got this global tab. And here are, for example, my various global widgets that I've created for my website. Um, again, this is a pro feature. This is reason number 10 to buy Elementor Pro is you get access to global widgets. 
So that's it. Those are the first 10 reasons to buy Elmunter Pro. As I said, the second video, I'll cover reasons 11 through 20 and also give you two bonus reasons. So make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. I will do my best to answer any questions or comments that you have about Elmunter Pro. I'm always happy to help people out however I can. And again, if you do try, choose to buy Elmunter Pro based on this video or any of my other videos, I do appreciate it if you do that via my affiliate link. So that's it, um, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.